Hey guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my video. So today I am doing another book tag. I guess I'm on that book tag train. But originally I wanted to do a 25 facts or bookish facts about me just to replace my really, really old welcome video that's on my channel right now. Um, instead, I came across a book tag called, book tag called the meet the community tag i'm looking at my laptop right now and i watched this video through paperback puns uh video so i'll leave a link to her channel down below but the original creator for this tag is witch kitten reads essentially it's just for you guys to get to know me as a booktuber so we can get right into it so first question is name my name is Tracy. My booktube name is Printed Words and, which is the same as my blog. Backstory behind it, I originally put an and because at the time Printed Words wasn't available on its own. <laughs> but the and really represents the other things that I discuss or talk about on my blog as well as on booktube. I don't really just discuss books. Uh, so I do do film reviews, I write travel pieces on my blog as well. And then on booktube I tend to throw in random videos you know that I want to film so that's probably why there's an and there <laughs> question two where am I from so I am from Melbourne Australia <laughs> question number three pets I don't have any I used to have goldfish but that ended quite tragically so my days of being a pet owner ended very quickly question number four most binge worthy Netflix show now, this is gonna sound so ridiculous but on Netflix I tend to just watch all the kids shows or kids movies more than I do any of the other ones so I would have to say the most binge worthy that I recently just flew through would be Carmen San Diego which is based on a I think it's a video game about geography and like education so there's a Netflix adaptation to that in a TV series and you get to follow Carmen as she goes through these different countries and learn about the different cultures while she fights crime which I really liked I also have written a whole blog piece about like my top five favorite kids friendly movies and films uh, if you want to take a look at that as well and on Netflix question number six is instant by author and hands down that would have to be Kate Morton I know I speak about her all the time but I just love her books every single one of them that has come out has been absolutely amazing she writes a lot of mystery that spans across generations and then you just get to learn what the mystery is as you go along her books are actually just behind this i'm pretty sure um ya wise i would have probably have to say v schwab i've definitely uh gotten to really like her writing style and the way that she writes her stories so i've read pretty much most of her series and most of her releases and i've loved them all as well Question number seven is hobbies besides books and for this one here it would definitely have to be music. I love, love listening to music and finding different types of music spanning across different like languages as well so I don't just listen to English music. Um, I enjoy eating and eating out especially and discovering different places locally definitely a brunch addict i'll have to say random fact that most people don't know about which i think is a fact that people are starting to get to know about me now because i throw this out in the open whenever i get this question and that is the fact that i was born with teeth <laughs> it's weird definitely really weird but i had two teeth um when i came out and the nurse was like to my mum your daughter has teeth. I definitely think it's a genetic thing because my auntie also had the same thing happen to her when she was born. It's very strange. Uh, yeah, moving on. <laughs> Question number eight is favorite bookish or nerdy swag. And I don't actually tend to buy any kind of the bookish swag or anything like that at all. If I would have to pick one, it'd probably be my Mad Hatter Funko Pop, which is over there. Um, do I want to go get it? So this is my favourite little guy here. I love Alice in Wonderland. I love Mad Hatter. So that's why I got him. <laughs> Question number nine is one favourite book series that I love but no one else talks about. And 
I always struggle to answer this question. One, because most of the series that I read, I find out through booktube, so that means that a lot of people do know about it. And two, if I name something, chances are I'm probably wrong in the fact that people do talk about it, I just haven't seen it. <laughs> probably The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland is the one series by Catherine Envelanti that I don't think gets as much recognition as it should. It is a middle grade novel following a girl named September as she travels to Fairyland and she goes on different adventures. I haven't finished the series but I definitely think it's one for the ages and that it's great to read at any age and you definitely remember the story. Otherwise, like I said, Philippa Gregory, she writes an entire series about the Tudor time and the different queens uh, that are married to Henry VIII and I really liked that as well as her series that is now a TV series. So there's like two books in that series and it's about the York and the Lancasters as they fight for the throne which happens before the Tudor times and you've got the White Queen and the White Princess which is now BBC series and if you watch Killing Eve the main character in there um, name is Jodie Comer she plays the princess and the White Princess so I really liked that TV series as well. And then lucky last question is favourite new booktubers so these are people that I've just recently discovered so I'm definitely gonna have to mention paperback puns just because of the fact that I watched her video. She's also from Australia, so that's a fellow Australian booktuber there. I've also recently discovered Susan is reading and I've come to really like watching her videos. They're quite entertaining. And lucky last is Lindsay's lovely library. She is very articulate in what she has to explain and I think she has a lot to bring to the community so I'll leave links to their channels down below. Otherwise that is pretty much it from me. If you want to do this video or this tag please do leave a link to it down below as well. I would love to check it out. Uh, I I'm down to always meet new people and get to know new people. Otherwise, I think that is it from me. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.